We're here today to look into the history and ghost stories of five of Lincoln's most haunted areas. Brown's Pie Shop, Lincoln Castle, the New Theatre Royal, Greystone Steps and the White Hart Hotel. These locations are locally famous as many know about the haunted happenings of this historic city. So let's get into it. Starting at the New Theatre Royal, a building with a cast including Depp, Not Paying Their Staff, and A Game of Lost. The theatre was originally built in 1806 over a burial ground. 86 years later, the building burnt down supposedly by a man with a moustache smoking a cigar who is still often seen in the auditorium to this day. The owner of the building said that recently a volunteer was working in the auditorium and saw this man in one of the seats. When she asked the other members of staff who it was, they said no one else was in there with her. Staff often report hearing noises and some members have actually quit their jobs because of these paranormal events. Our second location is Inca's most famous tourist attraction, the castle. The castle has had a huge impact on the whole country throughout its history and its current claim to fame is the Magna Carta vault where it holds one of the few copies of the Magna Carta. The castle was famous for its hangings in the early 19th century. People would travel from far and wide to see the hangings at the castle. One of the ghosts is said to be that of a woman who was hanged for killing her three children. She was hung in Cobb Hall where she is still often seen as a black figure running towards children with her hands high in the air. There are also stories of a man on horseback riding through the cathedral quarter. He is said to be the friend of John Knox who was hanged at the castle for a crime he didn't commit. He fought for his friend and managed to get a pardon from the king to save Knox from being hanged. After receiving the pardon from the king, he rode all the way from London to Newark before stopping as he was exhausted. Due to his exhaustion, he slept too long and woke up after the hanging of Knox at dawn. Knox's friend later hung himself due to grief and was still holding the pardon from the king. The ghost of Knox's friend is often still seen on horseback riding through the cathedral quarter in the early hours of the morning. He sometimes stops to ask people to open the gates in the name of the king and sometimes rides straight through the gates. We're now going to talk about Brown's Pie Shop, quite possibly the most famous of the three places we'll discuss. Built in the late 17th century, Brown's Pie Shop was originally a pub called the Fox and Hound. The shop had been through many owners throughout its history and many died on the premises. From other reports staff and customers have made, Humphrey isn't the only ghost to haunt Brown's Pie Shop. On the upper floor of the shop, there have been many reports of a sinister presence that is so strong it makes staff avoid going up there. One witness says they saw a pair of keys get ripped out of a door and be thrown on the floor by an unseen force. Customers have also said they can hear footsteps coming from upstairs when no one was up there. The Greaston Steps were an important walkway in the 12th century, linking the medieval suburbs to the cathedral precincts. Many of the cathedral cleaners lived in the cottages in the houses on the Greaston Terrace in the 17th century, and there are stories of three different ghost hauntings in this area. One of the ghosts to haunt Greaston Steps is from the convent of St Joseph's. A woman is often seen carrying a baby to the flower bed to possibly lay the baby to rest. Some believe the woman is a midwife who used to help young women who had been exiled from their families after getting pregnant out of wedlock. People think that this woman's mother in nature continued into the afterlife and she continues her duties to the convent. Another ghost is said to be that of a cleric who was hanged on the crooked lamppost on the steps. Some people have claimed to see a man in a long robes and a hat guiding travellers to the cathedral. One person while on the Lincoln Ghost Walk took a photo of these steps and claimed to be able to see the man hanging in an archway. Although this doesn't add up with the history as the cleric is said to have been hung from the lamppost, this airy figure can still be clearly seen in the photograph. The 
Last but not least, we reached the final location, the White Hart Hotel. This place probably has the scariest history out of all the places we've been visited. One of the ghosts of the hotel is often called the Mobcat Maid and was a maid who worked at the hotel. She apparently caught the attention of the hotel's rat catcher but rejected him. Not being able to handle the rejection, he murdered her by repeatedly stabbing her in the face. She is often seen on the first floor landing, cowering in the corner. Three different people have killed themselves on three separate occasions in the same room in this hotel. A feeling of sadness is often felt in this room and people often hear cries. So there you have it, some of Lincoln's most haunted places. Due to how horrific some of these histories are, it's not surprising that people believe that they are haunted. Maybe these places really do have spirits trapped in their buildings, or maybe it's just old buildings. It's up to you to decide.